now then, I kick this video off in a ride in a Hyundai Coupe. 2002, you're probably thinking, Rob, I'm not tuned into Top Gear. I've tuned into Friend Farming. What the hell are you doing? Well, this is one of the best cars in the world. No, in all seriousness, I've just picked this up from MOT. Uh, I bought this car, it's just passed its MOT. And uh, it's a V6, 165, uh, two point, 165 brake horsepower, 2.7 litre engine, I believe. Um, absolute sewing machine gearbox. I've just got to go slow down this road. Um, yeah, it's for sale if anybody is interested. Yeah, it's for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, I'm not going to say a price on here, but if you want to get in contact with me on Facebook, because uh, I don't tend to look at my emails on Facebook Messenger, Fan Farming. Uh, it's done 68,000 miles, that is it. Um, so I'll show you the outside when we get back to the yard. But we've been cutting beans. We were cutting beans. We did 20, 23 acre yesterday. Got another 20, 22, 23 acre to do today. But yeah, look at it. She's tidy inside. I just got to clean the outside up and then uh, I'm going to advertise it. But there's the MIT certificate there. Everything's here. Um, yeah, hell of a motor. Hell of a motor. Anyone looking for a fairly cheap sports car? She's fast. One of the best cars in the world. No, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm done advertising on YouTube. I'm done. I don't advertise a lot, but I'm advertising this car. But let's uh, go see what Dad's up to. I shall just get back to the yard and I'll show you the outside of it. Some of you might be interested. Oh, a bit at the bottom. Oh dear. Yes. Look at her. Right, so Dad's just filling the combine up now. It is, what's the time? I don't know. Quarter to nine, I think. But I've got some special footage before I forget. This is a, a New Orleans forage harvester, brand new. I think it's something like 100 hours. Uh, a couple of mates down at Pex uh, went to go and have a look at it running the other day. Um, and uh, yeah, put um, took some videos and I thought you guys would like to see it. So... Here's a few uh, clips and photos of that. said uh, we got finished the oats uh, the day after you see that last video uh, fixed the combine again got that finished we only had five four acre left um, so we got two sheds full of oats back at home so we've had to clear this shed out over the weekend it's now Tuesday now we went cutting yesterday we've got about 25 acre in here I think she's doing about a ton and a half uh, an acre, which isn't too bad for beans considering last year I think we was doing about a ton, a ton an acre, so you don't get many beans, it's a similar sort of crop to peas, you don't get many peas than what you think, but it's a break crop and we should have a good wheat in afterwards, that's the plan anyway, but we're unloading now, it's nearly dinner time, it's a uh, much more better sample than last year, there's not a lot of rubbish in it and plus there's not the uh, cracked cracked beans uh, there's a foo in there but we've not got the like the grid plates in as i call it for the combine we've still got the smooth plates in you meant to put the grid plates in to let the muck out but because they're standing we 
majority of them standing, they ain't gone down. We're not scratching the header on the floor. Whether I mentioned this shed before, we can't put too much weight against these bricks. I think there's two layers of brick, but they're old and uh, you can't put too much weight. And with beans, there's a hell of a lot of weight against it. You'll just end up ruining the shed and pushing the back wall out or the side wall. It's not too bad that wall because that other side's full of wheat. So that wall ain't too bad, but as I come across, well now I'm away from the back wall, it's a bit better. But it's a shed, it's dry, it's doing its job, it's only a temporary sort of storage which will shift the beans, get the money in the bank, fingers crossed, and then we'll put machinery back in here. You can see that the basil is in here, the ridge is in here as well. So we've took the grader and the potato halves, so that was in here, and the Lemkin drill, that was in here as well. So that's now back at, at the home. We finished up at about nine o'clock last night, half nine, just getting too damp. And the last low was 14 and a half percent moisture, so we're on the money there. You can see we knocked this field out yesterday, apart from a little bit near the road. Uh, that'll do that last in case. We get a lot of cars in this road. It's like when a, that video DPD in a ditch. So um, yeah, get a lot of cars going in this field. So we'll leave that till last. We've made a couple of openings in that other field. Now we're in uh, the smallest field just across the road, getting that out of the way with because well, it's 12 o'clock. I've got a lorry at two o'clock for barley. That's my last load of barley going. If he turns up in time. Uh, so we'll get this out of the way with and while I'm loading the lorry mum's going to jump on the tractor and trailer so we ain't held up fingers crossed but yesterday we was cutting in this field and that field just there that was wheat there was a John Deere X9 combine I didn't have my GoPro with me so I filmed a little bit on my phone not uh, not too much but um yeah, here's a few clips of the massive John Deere X9. I think it was 40 or 45 foot header. So, here's a look at that. Now then, can anyone see? That right there is a 40 foot, might be a 45 foot John Deere X9. Woo! No match. For the original X, the TX. Beast! We've just got that little field done this field is the last field we've got left to do and like i say that little bit uh over there near the road but there's the odd green one in here even though i sprayed them but seems to be no beans like right on the top we had this last year and yet there's a lot of pods from there downwards there's the odd green one look but the pods are dead Stem is still green, they're about as brittle as anything, they're smashing up, look, smashing up nice. See, look how easy I just pulled that up, look. And there, hang on, can't do it with one hand. There's your beans in there, two of them just went on the floor, so about four beans in a pod. Four beans in a pod. So, Good size as well, clean. That's what we like. They are hard. All right then, it's two o'clock. Just had a phone call from my lorry driver. He's going to be half an hour. So 
Mum's going to shoot over here and jump on the tractor and trailer. I don't know whether she's going to empty or just load trailers. Don't know yet. But we've got the last lorry load of barley. Well, for me anyway, the shed's going to be still got some in uh, to load up because I sold four load, like I said in a couple of videos back. So this is the last one. Uh, get him loaded, come back and see how much we've got left to do. Job done, lorry loaded. She's looking a bit more emptier now. Finish this field. <laughs> 